So it's a little soon to tell, but of these two adults who just are closed, one looks quite healthy, I'm going to give it an exam, and the other could either just need to hang upside down, and I'm going to help it in just a moment, or it could have a very bad case of OE that accounts for its deformities. I'll have to get a better look. Okay, we'll see how this goes here. I'm going to show you a basic technique for doing an OE test, and I'm going to take one of these butterflies by the strongest part of its wings, which is the shoulders. So, and I'm going to use this little piece of transparent tape. I'm going to gently press it to the butterfly's abdomen, and then I'm going to stick it on this white index card. So, let's see if I can do this one person. It's a lot easier when you have a partner. There we are, little fella. Okay. And I can see you are a female. Okay. So, here I've got a little piece of tape. I hold her like this. I press the tape oops, to her abdomen like that, just very gently. See that print that came off? I put her back in here. There you go. Her wings are a little soft yet. All right, and then I'm going to take this little print and put it up here, right there on my index card, and now I'm going to mark it. So that's what I've written on my card. And by the way, that very weak looking one, oh, hello, knitting together your proboscis. You can actually see the two halves here. Um, that very weak one, I gave uh, it a little lift and put it up on the vacated chrysalis so it's got something to hang from and give it a chance to see if it can't pump those body fluids into its wings and stiffen up and harden up properly. So let's see if that can happen. At least it's got a chance now. All right, I'm off to the microscope to check the OE print for the apparently more healthy one. Okay, so here I've been using my cell phone, which I have in a bracket that's connected to one of the two oculars that I have on my microscope. And um, I'm just going to reach over here with the big fat knob that's the course adjustment, kind of get in better focus for myself. There we go. So I've been using at first just the little scanning objective lens that is probably on your scope, banded red, it is on mine. And that gives me some idea of what these look like. Now I have here, this is the stage of um, my microscope. And you know, it's a fancy mechanical one. It goes up and down. It's got these little stage clips and things. I'm not worried about all that. I'm just taking this print I made from the scales on that butterfly's abdomen and sticking it however I can get it in there, right on top of the little hole that has the light on it. Um, and then I'm using my course and fine adjustment knobs to kind of get it in decent focus for my eye. It doesn't look very good here for you on the film, but I promise with my naked eye, I can see it better. Well, anyway, I'm going to lower my stage now and go to a higher powered objective, crank it up, holding my head down on the side to look and see where it is, and then slowly, 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 slowly ease it into focus. Ooh, yes. Now, it doesn't look very good on the film I'm making for you, but trust me, on my phone, it's actually pretty sharp. And whoo, I'm not seeing any OE yet. But I'm going to just move my sample around a little bit. Move it around a couple different spots. Bring it into focus again. It slides in and out of focus very easily with the card, obviously, because it's not a slide super thin being held super tightly with all those clips and things. Hmm, I'm still seeing none. Hey, this is good. This might be a butterfly that either has so little OE, I can't find it, which is fine, it's kind of endemic, or it's a very healthy butterfly. This is looking great. All right, I'm going to put my head way down on the side, but I'll do it on the other side where you can't see me, and I'm lowering, lowering, lowering my stage so that I have room when I turn this and I'll bash that long objective. And then I'm putting my card back in, and I'm going to go back up, 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 as close as I can get safely to the objective. And then I'm going to back it off. So by backing it off slowly, it will come into focus. Any second now, with this higher powered objective. Ooh, there we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. There I can see some nice, you can't see it on the video, but I can see on my phone some nice looking uh, scales. And I'm just going to sort of rinse and repeat. This is duller than watching uh, paint dry, I know. 
Um, but anyway, while I'm doing this, I'll just say you will see other interesting things on this card like paper fibers and bits of the mucilage, the sticky, gooey, gummy stuff that comes in scotch tape. There we go. I'm just going to see if I can show you one image of Sla of scales that is decent enough to share so you can see. Hey, not bad. That's actually decent. Yeah, I think, oh, for a second, that actually worked, and I could see it on the film as well as on my uh, little iPhone here. There we go. All right, so here are a bunch of uh, scales, and I'm not seeing those little tiny round footballs, which are much smaller than the scales, so I'm declaring this health test excellent. I'm declaring this monarch free of OE, at least as far as I can establish, and that is Marby. Having done a successful OE test and finding none with her roommate, I am looking at this butterfly here, the one that was kind of floundering around, not looking so good on the bottom of this jar, down there in the paper towel. And if you'll remember a few minutes ago, I gave her a little lift by putting my fingertip where her strong, big forelegs are. She's actually got six, but like all insects, but two of them are teeny tiny, almost microscopic, very hard to see. Anyway, yes, she really is an insect. She really has six legs. Here she is, clinging a few minutes later, and she's looking okay, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of resolution in her wings to stiffen up, so I don't know how she's going to work out, but we'll do an OE test on her. And I have found that sometimes, even in the same jar as these two are, you see here, I had four in here. These are two chrysalises still, still coming to fruition, um, and here on the bottom is, um, yeah, there she is, Mrs. Healthy. We're going to let her go in a few moments. I have found that roommates, even in the same jar, um, sometimes one will test positive for OE and the other isn't. So do you think that there's any chance that this healthy one for whom I could find no OE on the abdomen, do you think that this one has never got any spores on her? Mm, she probably has. But this is the thing about uh, parasites or viruses or bacteria or fungus or any of the things that can make us sick. Um, a few doesn't always do the trick. Very often our bodies can handle a little bit. Anyway, um, I have my suspicions about this little gal, but I'm going to give her some more time and then I'll do the same thing. I will hold her very gently by that strong part of her large four wings, by her shoulders, and I'll do a little print of her um, abdomen and I'll show you what it looks like. First though, we're going to do a release of this fine young thing. I do not have any tags, and it's a teeny bit early anyway, although I suspect she might be a migrant. Um, but let's give her her freedom. She doesn't want to live here in a jar, and, um, you know, if I kept her another day, by the way, she would be raring to go, flapping around in this jar and probably hurting herself. This is not the ideal rearing container, um, but right now I don't have any uh, clean, Cloroxed, sterilized uh, soft cages, so I'm using what I got. Anyway. Um, I can let her go today. She'll be totally fine. If I waited till tomorrow, she'd be becoming pretty angry with me and wanting her release. So if you raise yours, you may notice that for the first day, they just kind of hang about, do nothing, flap their wings, don't want to eat. That's normal. But by the second day, they want to go, they want to eat, they want to live, live their lives. Here's the one I'm releasing. There's her little buddy still trying to harden up her wings. I don't know about her. But let's take this one outdoors. Great picture of her reproductive end. See that little notch? That tells me she's a female. So she is raring to go, very excited. She's Her wings aren't as stiff as they would be if I waited a day, but who doesn't want a nice little taste of lantana? Oh, and she's gone. 